But the Protestants haven't gotten everything right. One of them is the Catholic teaching that hell is eternal conscious torment, meaning that you will burn in fire for billions and zillions of years because it pleases God for you to be punished in that manner forever, okay? That's the typical view of hell. The scriptures, however, teach that while the fires of hell are eternal because God who sustains them is eternal, the individuals thrown into it are what we would call annihilated. In other words, think of Christ. Christ goes to the cross with all sin. Does his torment on the cross last forever? No, it does not. In fact, God says to Adam, from dust you came, and if you don't repent, to dust you will return. From dust you came, to dust you will return. The scriptures say that the wicked will be ash under our feet. I'm making a point, right? And then the scriptures also say that Satan, when he's judged, a fire will come out of him and consume him until he is nothing. These are strong indicators, okay? And then Jesus himself actually used the Greek word for annihilate when he said, do not fear those, listen, who can kill the body but cannot do anything about the soul, Fear the one whom after the body has been killed has the power to destroy or annihilate both body and soul in hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. So what we believe here is, and I believe it's consistent with God's loving nature is, you will be punished in hell for your sin. I don't deny hell. You will burn with fire for your sin in hell. There's no denying that either. But it will not go on for zillions of years to please God. In fact, the scriptures say that God takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked, rather that they repent and live. That's what Ezekiel says. And so what that means is you will experience the crucifixion of sorts. You will experience destruction and real punishment for your sin. And then your ultimate consequence is, Adam, from dust you came to dust you return. You're unconscious. You don't exist. That's the ultimate punishment. Listen, Jesus didn't teach eternal life and then eternal life, but it's hot. He taught eternal life and death, a true death. And he told Adam, on the day you eat of it, you will die and you will go from dust you came to dust you will return. Think of what you were before you were born. What were you? Nothing. No memories, no consciousness. So you will suffer like Christ suffered in your place. You will suffer in your place. And then you will no longer exist after that. And that's consistent with both the idea of there being a hell and real punishment for sin and also God's even mercy towards sinners that they just simply don't exist. And think about it this way from God's perspective. Uh, God has even said he's not gonna strive with man forever. He's not interested in sustaining life forms that hate him for zillions and zillions of years. He's not interested in even having them be alive. They stop living, eternal life and death. Not eternal life and eternal life, but it's not.